that's my Mobro Smash. And not very clear. Got a nice, really nice uh, hop aroma to it. This nice creamy white head. Uh, I put it in the keg and uh, it's force carbonated, but uh, <laughs> it's not clear at all. But uh, cheers, go in and take a taste. Yeah, really happy with that one. It um, It's an all grain smash, single malt and single hob. The single malt, uh, according to the name, is uh, Maris Otter, and the single hop is Bravo. <clears throat> and just because I had them on hand. But uh, turned out nice. Um, I keep kind of messing with the carbonation on it and the kegs, but uh, that's one advantage to, to doing it in a keg as you can kind of adjust it up and down but uh, it has a really nice clean flavor um, uh, there's no there, there is absolutely no bitterness in this it's a slightly sweet because of the um, the Marisotter hop I mean the Marisotter malt <clears throat> but uh, but there's really not uh, there's really not any hop bitterness just a little bit and uh, it does have a really nice uh, hop aroma to it because I did dry hop it at the end, which probably contributes to the cloudiness of the beer as well. Very happy with that. Um, and the missus likes it as well, so I know it, I, I did well on that one. And uh, real simple, uh, very, very simple. All I did was add, um, I think I had uh, an ounce of Bravo hops at 15 minutes, an ounce at 5, and then <clears throat> after, I think about a after about a week, I think I, I dry hopped it with another ounce of Bravo at for a week. And <clears throat> my Bravo hops were, I think uh, the AAUs were like 15 and a half. They're pretty, pretty high. Um, <clears throat> and the total IBU on this was, it was uh, 42, 42, something like that. And, uh, but really, really nice. Cheers, everybody. That's one you'd let um, you let your fellow brewers drink that one. That's good, uh, you know. Uh, you wouldn't just give this to a tradesman who comes into your house. Here, take this. It's not that great, but you know. But <laughs> this is a <clears throat> our, our drinking in secret. I mean, this one is uh, this is really nice. You you want to share that with your friends and family. Um, so that that was the one that was in the keg. When uh, it, the, and when the keg depleted my CO2 cartridge or CO2 uh, bottle, I never know what to call that thing. CO2 tank, I think. Um, so, but I, what I had to do, I, I found out what the problem was. It was that main seal on the top, the ring on the top. I had to replace that. All was well. So uh, I ended up, <clears throat> um, I ended up pressuring it at. Uh, let's see, I put it in the keg at 30 psi overnight uh, before I put it in the refrigerator though I, I, uh, I put it on its you know I laid it down rocked it for about five minutes and then uh, put it in the refrigerator overnight cold and uh, the next day it was uh, you know I, I put the ten, put the pressure down to I think I served it at 10 put the pressure down to 10 and it came out <clears throat> and it just it really came out beautiful so uh, medium mouth feel uh, and, and just really the emphasis on clean USO5 uh, uh, yeast, you know, uh, and I think that's it. I mean, that's pretty much the recipe. Um, I can put it down below um, if I can get it in there, uh, if I think about it. <laughs> and uh, I'll, put, I'll put that uh, recipe down below, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really nice one. Um, <clears throat> my, I still have... I still have uh, 19 liters, five, five gallons, in the dining room of my basic ale. Uh, I've run out of room in the refrigerator because now I have two kegs. Uh, one's the honey brown ale that uh, uh, Strat shared the recipe with me uh, with, and and this one, uh, my Mobro Maris Otter uh, Bravo Smash, and so that's all in the refrigerator. Uh, I think I'm going to end up having to bottle 
<clears throat> the uh, basic ale that's fermenting now. Do that this weekend. But anyway, everybody hang in there. It's Wednesday. A uh, couple of more days, and uh, we'll be looking at the weekend. Uh, cheers to everybody, and I'll see you on the next video.